Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? What can I do for you, Sherlock? Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Oh, come on, at least do him first. Uncle Giovanni? Oh, oh, Signor 
Signore, you look exactly like my uncle. He's the grandson of the Doge of Venice, you know. I knew you reminded me of someone. You are as alike as two peas. Uh, perhaps you have some royal blood in you, too. That is flattering, I suppose, but I sincerely doubt it, Mum. Doge, he's a doge. Now that's a deduction. He's not an actual doge. If you say so, my lord, the doge. It's you! I mean, it's him! It's him! Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, sir. Please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mum, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the outfitters. You can find them all over Codona. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes, come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Is this familiar to you? No and no. You are not getting anything from me.
John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona in a manor. And there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague, a, a mere flash. We have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yeah, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit... Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. Hooray! Proceed to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. <laughs> Steady, Sherry. Steady. And go. My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. this all day please don't sherry we don't have that much time our enemies might be stronger than us but we rely on our wits shoot off their armor our enemies might be stronger than us but we rely on our wits Shoot off their... All right, let's move on, Sherry. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. I'm trying to estimate the range for your snuff box. Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Bye. 
I'm coming for you. I couldn't miss the party. I'm coming for you. Don't bother moving. You've lost. The snuff's ready. Time to knock this guy out. Don't cry, you'll live. Give him the pepper snuff. That's enough. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. Hello. 